Hello, my name is Larry Martin and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. I've got a uh, comment on a YouTube channel for a video I did a bit ago about how to work with visibility expressions and modify your forms in ShareWell. And the question was, how do we deal with ORs in this scenario? Um, what I had done before was shown that if a field had a certain value, you could make other fields visible. Uh, you could stack those fields on top of one another, um, do different things of that nature. In this scenario, the individual is wanting to uh, see how they could use an OR expression. So maybe they might have, I want these fields visible if the value is this or that. And so I thought about it a minute and it was like, well, there are a couple different ways to handle this. One is a straight up OR statement in your visibility expression. And the other is a not equals. So I decided to go ahead and put together a quick video to show how to use both the OR method and the not equals method. Now be aware with the not equals method, a null will not equal whatever value you're looking for. So if you're trying to do something with a field that has a certain value and you are hiding fields, if that first field does not have a value, then your visibility expression is going to be true and those fields will show up. And we'll see that as I demonstrate um, my form here. So I'm going to go ahead and open my bridge client. I've already set everything up. So I just, as you can see, I still have the specific squid or uh, rec ID showing up on my banner and it doesn't look pretty. Um, but we're looking at the actual visibility expressions here. So in this case, these two fields that are type two or three, field one, type two or three, field two, they have a visibility expression on them that says, if the form type does not equal um, I believe it's type 1, then display it. So right now, this does not equal type 1, so these two fields are visible. Now, if I take it to type 1, those two fields disappear. These showed up because they have a visibility expression that says, um, if the type is 1 or the type is 2, show these two. Or if the type is 1, or the type is 3, show these two. So if I go ahead and select type 2, now these two show back up because I said if the type is not equal to 1. So these are if type equals 1 or type equals 2, and you can see type 2 they're showing up, they're visible. This one, I said if type is not equal to type 1, be visible. So now I'll go to type 3. I expect these two to disappear, these to stay, and these to show up. So we'll do that. And as expected, these two remain because my type is either 2 or 3. Uh, by being, I'm sorry, this particular one uh, is visible because my type is not 1. These two showed up because my type was either 1 or 3. So, kind of neat. You can move things around. You can have multiple copies of fields and stack them on top of one another, etc. Um, so, just to give you a quick view into how this was done, I came into my admin client. If I get it to show up here, I created a blueprint. In this case, I uh, created a quick specifics form. And on this form, I just threw together these seven fields. So this is my driving field, my form type. Uh, that can be anything. Um, I just happened to use form type because that's what I had done in my first video where I was just showing how you can move elements around on the form. Uh, so for these two fields and their labels, so I just selected all of these, I have a visibility expression and that expression simply says specifics, visibility expressions, form type. So that's what I called my 
uh, specifics form with specifics, or by specifics object with specifics visibility expressions. Form type equals type 1 or equals type 2. Now it's important to note that the selection you make here is what changes that AND to an OR. Now if you've got grouping or anything else in there, you're going to need to make sure that you are selecting the particular grouping header or area that uh, your fields are in. So if I were to do a new group expression, this group expression is going to put anything below it as ANDs because it is all of the items in the group must be true. If I do this, at least one of the following is true. So we can change that per grouping level and so if I put this here um, I could actually move these below like so and so these have to be both true and then I could put a new grouping level at the top level and I could copy these same expressions and make these or so this then becomes at least one of the following are true. All of these are true, or one or the other of these are true. So you can get pretty complex with these expressions. Now for the other two fields over this, uh, these two fields are the same basic concept where they're using an OR group expression. So where at least one of the following is true. Visibility expression equals type 3 or it equals type 1. So we've got our OR at least one of the items in the group must be true to get our OR working. Now these are the two that are relying on the NOT equal a specific type. So in this case they have a visibility expression that says that the form type does not equal type 1, which makes them show up when that is blank or null, or if it's anything but type 1. Even if it's not a valid um, value these two fields will show up. So that just looks like uh, specifics field form type not equal type 1. Anyhow, I uh, just thought uh, since we had the question I'd go ahead and put the video together. It's a lot easier to follow a video uh, pictures worth a thousand words that type of thing. Um, anyhow, I hope you find this useful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do produce videos on a regular basis for you. Uh, if you have specific questions, feel free to post them to our channel or tweet at us or email us. And we will respond and or create a video giving you an answer to your question. Thank you.